Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, Alex here. And today what I wanna do is go over some Samsung features that a lot of people don't know about, but should really get to know and start using. And the first one is the ability to add a message to your phone's lock screen. So you can see that on my lock screen, I have a message here that says return to my email address. So if I ever lose my phone and whoever finds it is hopefully nice enough to return it, but they'll be able to look on my lock screen and see that I've left an email here where they can reach out to me and return the phone to me. Now to set this up, what you wanna do is go into your phone settings, go to lock screen, and then just tap on edit right here to edit your lock screen. And down here, you'll see an option to add some text. And then here, just leave some contact information that the person can reach out to you. So maybe an alternative phone number or an email address, just any way that if somebody finds your phone, they'll be able to reach out to you and hopefully return the phone to you. All right, guys, now this next feature will allow you to see the battery health of your Samsung phone. So kind of like on the iPhone, we have a setting here that shows us the maximum capacity remaining on our battery. Your Samsung can do something very similar. Now to do this, what you're going to need is the Samsung members application. Now this does already come pre-installed on most Samsung phones. If you don't have it, you can install it from the Play Store or I'll leave a link in the description below that you can follow. But essentially what you wanna do is go into this application and then go to support, tap on phone diagnostics, and then scroll all the way down until you see battery status. Go into here and you can see that we have the battery status right here. So ours is normal, the life is good, and the maximum capacity of the phone is 5,000 milliamps. Now, unfortunately, unlike the iPhone, we don't really get a very specific number on just how well our battery is doing. So you can see on the iPhone, it says 100% and we get a very detailed number. Whereas on the Samsung, it will either say that your battery life is either good normal or weak. Now, the reason you might wanna use this feature is let's say you're buying a new phone. You can go into here and check on the battery life. You definitely wanna make sure that it's good. Normal is okay depending on how old the phone is. If it's maybe three, four or five years old, normal is fine, but you definitely don't wanna buy a phone that has a weak battery life because that means obviously that the battery is not going to be able to last you very long and possibly not even get you through the day. And you don't want to buy a phone that you have to constantly charge every couple of hours. So just go into here and make sure that the battery life is either good or normal depending on how old the phone is. Now, another cool feature that people don't know about is that you have the ability to send messages at a scheduled time. So let's say somebody's birthday is coming up or there's some kind of event coming up and you don't want to forget to message the person. What you can do is actually write the message out in advance and then instead of uh, hitting send, just tap and hold on here and it will give you this little schedule right here. And you can go into here and pick a specific date and time when you want this to go out. So let's say maybe March 30th. We'll tap next, then we can select at what time of day we want this message to go out. So we'll say 9 a.m., tap next, and then hit save. And now we can actually hit send, but it won't actually deliver to the person until that date and time comes. And what's cool is we can even continue talking to this person and communicating with them. And this scheduled message will stay right here until it's ready to go out. And of course, you can always tap on it to edit the message, send it now, or just delete it. This will work on both Gboard and the Samsung keyboard. So I'm using Gboard, but it works just the same on a Samsung keyboard. Just send your, just type your message tap and hold on the send button and then pick a schedule for when you want this to go out. Now this next feature is really useful if you shoot a lot of video and maybe you have kids who are always running around or you do some kind of street videography where there's a lot of moving cars and people or just any moving elements. What you can do is have your camera track focus on the subject that you want to focus on. Now to enable this, what you wanna do is go to your phone's camera app and then hit on the settings icon up here. And you'll see an option here that says tracking autofocus. And what it says is keep the rear camera focused on the selected subject, even if they move. So now your camera will just lock focus on that one subject and focus on them no matter where they are in your viewfinder. All right, guys, now this next feature is really useful if somebody wants to use your phone to maybe watch some YouTube videos, but you don't want them to be able to exit the YouTube app and go around snooping around your personal data like looking at your pictures or any of your other files. What you can do is actually pin an app to the display so that the person using your phone will not be able to exit that application and access the rest of the things on your phone. Now to do this, what you wanna do is open the application they want to use. So let's say maybe the YouTube application and then go into the background applications like that and then tap on the app icon and you'll see an option here that says pin this app. So when you select it, you can see that it says app is now pinned and the person can freely use the YouTube application but they won't be able to exit the application. You can see when they try to leave, it says the app is pinned and they can't leave. They can't even access your notification bar so they can't see 
any messages that are coming in or any other notifications on your phone. They can't do anything else on your phone outside of using the YouTube application. And once they're done to exit the pinned app, all you need to do is swipe up and hold. And you can see that it will ask for your pin or your fingerprint to unlock the pinned app. And now when you enter your credentials, you can see now you can go back to freely using your phone. Now, before we move on to the next one, I just want to remind you guys that I've partnered along with Mint to bring you guys some amazing phone plan deals. So if you're overpaying for your phone or you're just looking to save some money, you should check out Mint. They have plans for as low as $15 a month for four gigabytes that range all the way up to $30 a month for the unlimited plan. They also offer unlimited text and talk, nationwide coverage, and mobile hotspots in all of their plans. It's really easy to switch over. Just pick a plan and Mint will do the rest. They'll provide you with an eSIM to get you started right away, or if you require a physical sim they will send one over to you free of charge all right guys now this last feature will help you take better cleaner looking screenshots but also help you manage them on your phone because if you're anything like me you probably take a whole bunch of screenshots and then after you share it with somebody you kind of just forget about it and it just sits here in your screenshots album on your phone taking up storage that you really don't need it to so to fix this what we're going to do is go into our phone settings Scroll down to advanced features and then tap on screenshots and screen recorder. And in here, enable both of these features. So it says delete after sharing from uh, toolbar. And then this one that says hide status and navigation bars. So what the second one will do is make your screenshots look a little bit cleaner because it will no longer capture any of these icons up here. So your battery percentage, your Wi-Fi connection, the time, none of these will show up in your screenshots. So to show you what that looks like, if I take a screenshot and then I go look at it, you can see that none of that is up here anymore. Whereas before, you can see that it always included whatever time it was, whatever battery percentage my phone was at. And these were just a little bit more cluttered. Whereas now it looks a little bit more clean and really the person you're sending this to probably doesn't care about any of these things. So if we go back into here, the second thing we enabled was delete after sharing from toolbar. Now this one is really nice because it's no longer going to uh, save all of these screenshots on your phone when you don't need them after you share them from your toolbar. So if you take a screenshot, you have this share button here. So let's say we share the screenshot, we send it to any of our contacts after it gets sent, it automatically deletes it from our phone so that we don't have to deal with all of these cluttered screenshots saving up in our screenshot album on our phone. But there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.